What I have for you today is an ice cream padlock. This is a gag gift that's branded by Ben & Jerry's, the ice cream company. And you may have received this for Christmas this year or just, you know, as a, as a gag gift from a family member. Basically, it's a collar that goes around a pint of ice cream and prevents the uh, people that don't know the combination from opening it. Basically, you take the pint of ice cream and you drop it down in, and this collar comes up from the bottom. You put the cover on top of your ice cream, and then you cover that with this top of the lock. And you go like this, you scramble your code, and then your ice cream cannot be opened because this plastic collar uh, won't come out until the right three-digit code is entered here. Now this three-digit code is provided to you on the packaging here on the back. You see it's 2B8 for this one here. And resetting that code is probably something that's doable if you take apart these screws and take apart the lock, but I'm not gonna mess with that. This is just a few dollar gag gift. But I will show you how to pick the lock. And it, it really follows with some of the other methods used to, to open up padlocks, uh, like combination padlocks like this. Basically, we're gonna look at the outside two digits. The center uses lettering uh, for it, uh, but the outside two, these gates are very wide when you have the proper number selected. And that means there's gonna be a lot of movement back and forth like this. So if I move this um, dial, see how it's jumping around from one to three with two in the middle? That's pretty evident that two is the number. Every other number that I try to rotate through, the dial is actually stuck. I mean, it's frozen, doesn't move at all. There's no shake in there at all the whole way through. But if you just move it around till you feel where there's that distinct uh, looseness, there it is, then you'll have the, the, the first digit. And then I'd recommend you know, looking at the, the last digit because the same feeling will happen. You'll be pushing and it's very stiff, doesn't want to move. And then you get to that one area and then, oh, there it goes. And now it's nice and loose. In this case, it's going between seven and almost all the way to zero. So that number is clearly around eight or nine. So in my case, I'm gonna set it to eight. And now that I've got my two gates figured out and centered up, then I'm just gonna go through the middle until I find one that works. Because I'm pretty sure, oh, there it is. So here it opened on two, uh, I guess B and C are pretty close together and eight and a half to nine. So it's kind of forgiving. Probably if you just get one of these gates right, the other two are just gonna fall into place. Uh, but that's it. It's a very simple gag gift that I think your family might get a kick out of. Just find this in the freezer one day. Uh, but if you wanna know how to open it up, well, there you go. So hey, I hope this uh, video was helpful. If you look in the video description, I'll put a link to where I got this product on Amazon. Um, and as always, have a great day.